Today we are going to be talking all about transitioning our wardrobe from winter into spring. This can be a tough time of year because a lot of times it's like one day, at least here in New England, it is like today, it is 32 degrees out. But we had a couple days last week that it was 65, 70 degrees. <laughs> like, it's like you don't know what to do, you don't know how to dress, and it's always a struggle every year. So I'm going to put together and show you five different outfit formulas that I have that work for me at this time of year, transitioning from those days that are really, really cold to those warmer days and just how you can be prepared no matter what the weather is. If you are new around here, my focus over the last year has kind of changed from really you know, when spring comes around, we've all been stuck either in the house or in cooler clothes or bundled up or layers. So we start to see all these new clothes showing up in ads, whether it's on TV or on here while you're watching YouTube or on Instagram or just when we're passing a store. They've got all these new fresh looks. And a lot of times when we see these things, we get sparked into thinking, oh, okay, I need that because I need something new because this weather is changing and that's what I need. And my suggestion to you and something that I have been focusing on over the last year is A, shop your own closet. See what you already have. We tend to forget what we had from last year at this time to this year at this time. Now, I also am trying to kind of personally get out of the whole falling into what's on trend, what's newest, especially as I've gotten into my now 50s, is finding those items that work for me year after year. I also have three words that I try and work with, which is comfortable, effortless, and chic. If those three words work in and it's something new, I might consider it, but I have been checking my current wardrobe before I run and purchase anything. Now, that being said, the key staple to these outfits is going to be things like t-shirts and sweaters, lightweight sweaters, and let me start with that. So, when I talk about t-shirts, I'm saying whatever works for you. I am personally a huge graphic tee girl. I love them, especially in the spring and the fall. All right, in the summer too. I do wear them a lot, but I love just a little bit of personality in through something like a t-shirt. But you can buy or wear any type of t-shirt that works for you. It can be a plain white one. It can be a crew neck. It can be a v-neck. It can be a boat neck. It can be whatever style works best for you. Now, I am broader across the chest, so things that tend to work for me, I can wear a crew neck, but when I am wearing a crew neck, it tends to be something I'm wearing as a layer, kind of like what you're seeing here. And when I'm wearing a V-neck, that tends to be in the warmer months, like spring in through summertime. And then something like a boat neck, I kind of struggle with that because it depends on where it sits on me because I do wear a bra with straps is what I personally prefer. I do have strapless ones that work for me. If you've never tried out the Waycole Red Carpet Ready, I think it's called the Convertible Bra. Oh my gosh, best strapless bra I have ever tried. But that being said, I tend to steer a little bit away from those boat necks, but I can wear those. Now that also can include the same type of thing, whether you want a graphic tee, a plain white tee, a gray tee, a black tee, whatever color, you can wear colorful ones. You can wear a bright blue, a green, you can wear pastels, whatever works for you with your skin tone, with what you're comfortable in, and what you feel the most like yourself in. Those are the key things. So if you are seeing jewel tones are in this year, but you're really into neutrals like your whites, your grays, your blacks, your creams, things like that, or you just love a great pastel, stick with what you love, but integrate it into the things you're seeing. Now I will say some of my favorite tees, my graphic tees are always from Sassy Queen. My short and long sleeve t-shirts are always from Gap. I think it's called the Modern Tee. They have it in different cuts, styles. It is by far the most flattering that I have tried. And then you also, for these transition ones, as opposed to just a tee, you can go one step further and have something like a light sweater like what I have on right here. This is cashmere. It is a personal preference to purchase this. 
you can choose any type of thinner sweater that you like. If you want something a little bit warmer, go with cashmere. If you want something a little bit more breathable or not quite as warm, you can always go with a different material, a cotton, a rayon, whatever works for you, for your price range and for what you like. Now, as I mentioned, cashmere, I personally prefer. A lot of them are on sale right now. If you want that to be something you have in your wardrobe for next year and you know what style you like best, I personally prefer in the winter, turtlenecks, crew necks, some mock necks. I don't wear V-necks very often. Um, so now might be the time to pick those up. Some of my favorites are Quince. My favorites are Nordstrom brand cashmere. And then also Bloomingdale's has a brand called Aqua that I really love. I actually have a whole video about cashmere. If you are interested in that, I will link that up here for you. But it is a great layering piece because they're not typically a bulky item. So you can wear it as a layer at this time and whether the weather changes to warmer, cooler, you're still okay in this. Then let's talk about jeans or pants, whatever you choose. I personally love light wash kind of distressed denim. And I personally love an ankle length jean, but in the winter, that's not what I'm going for. In the winter, I don't want my ankles out. I want like everything covered. I don't want any cold air getting to me whatsoever. So with that being said, my jeans that are transitioning are a little bit different. Again, I do prefer and tend to gravitate towards a lighter wash that has distressing to it. And with that, don't worry about what these 20 something year old is saying on your TikTok, on your YouTube, on your Instagram, that skinny jeans are out. You have to wear a wide leg jean, these barrel cut jeans. If that does not work for your body, don't bother. Or if you want to try it, try it at a less expensive price point. Buy it somewhere that you can get the item that you want and maybe not spend your true capsule wardrobe funds that you have allotted towards something that is a trend that you're not sure if it will work for your body. Or go into the store, try them on, take some pictures, go home, think about it. So really make your own decisions. If you love skinny jeans, wear skinny jeans. I personally love what would be considered more of a slim jean. I don't like a super skinny jean in the spring and in the summer but I also don't want a straight, straight leg jean. I tend to prefer more of a slim jean, which kind of tapers down towards the ankle, but it's not super tight like a skinny jean, but it's not quite as wide as a straight jean. Now I do also, with that being said, like a straight leg, more ankle cut jean, in this time of the season. I love straight leg jeans in the winter because I love them how they make your legs look so long with a great booty or a nice heel or even with sneakers. However, as I'm getting into the springtime, I tend to prefer more of an ankle length that is a straight leg because I want to have a ballet flat a less chunky or not as heavy of a sneaker maybe going in through this season as well. Another favorite for me is a good wide leg pant. I have my Vince Camuto wide leg black pants that I recently bought in a white color for my upcoming trip. And then I also have the DL1961 camo wide leg pants. Either of these, they are pretty much interchangeable for me with outfits. They look great with any type of flat sneaker. You can make them into so many different outfits. It is a personal choice. As I mentioned, wide leg jeans, straight legs are great on me, but wide leg jeans tend to make me look very hippie. But wide leg pants tend to hang much nicer and give me a much nicer, longer look. So again, choose what style works best for you, what you're most comfortable in, and what creates the look that you want and you're going for. Now also with that, I will talk about shoes, is that in the spring, I tend to gravitate mostly, unless I am going out to dinner or to a date night, almost always I wear some form of ballet flat or some form of sneakers. Some of my favorite ballet flats are Rothy's. They are like wearing slippers outside. I just went and grabbed one real quick. They are 
so soft, so comfy. The inserts come out. You can throw them in the laundry. They are just, I can't say enough good things about them. I have two pairs and I love them every year. Some of my other favorite brands in a pointed toe one are Allie and also M.M. LaFleur. These are my two like pointed toe shoes that I tend to grab for. And two of my rounded toes, both of my rounded toe ones that I grab for the most are a little bit on the pricier side. But as I mentioned, my focus has been building a capsule wardrobe of items that I will wear year after year. The first pair is a pair from Chanel and the other pair is from a brand called Bruno Magli. Uh, both of these rounded toe, very close classic. These I will be able to wear for years to come. And then my other is also sneakers. I have Golden Goose sneakers. I have Nike Dunks. I have a newer pair that is from Gucci. I have P448. All of these can be worn so many different ways. And when I talk about sneakers for the spring, I mean more your fashion sneaker than your athletic sneaker. But again, with this, like Nike Dunks, I, I still laugh about, I got a comment one day saying that Nike Dunks are for teenagers and I shouldn't be trying to wear those. I personally love them. It is personal preference. Wear again what you love and what you're comfortable in. To me, as I mentioned, those three words I look for are comfortable, effortless, and chic. And I can create outfits with a Nike Dunk that I feel incorporate in those three words. Then the last part of my outfit formula in through the springtime is some form of top layer, we'll call it, okay? So whether that's a blazer, it's a sweater, it's a cardigan, it's a raincoat, it is a lightweight piece that you can easily take off or put on depending on the weather. Now today I'm going to show you a couple different blazers. I do find that I like a blazer that has kind of a textured or layered detail to it. I have my Veronica beard along with one, oh gosh, I forget the name of the brand. I've had it for so many years that I love that has an insert in it. Uh, Every you've always carries some great ones with the inserts that are removable. Then I also like a more oversized blazer or something a little bit larger in either a black or a camel color. Uh, that oversized look, you can layer it better under things like a cashmere sweater, a cashmere hoodie, something like that. And then also a longer cardigan. I personally like an open, longer cardigan coat style one. I have one from Amazon and one from Nordstrom that I tend to grab for black and tan. Again, back to those classics. A great raincoat, trench coat. I have a long trench coat that I really think adds a little bit of drama to an outfit. And then I also have a shorter raincoat that has a little bit more detail to it. And then I also always love a jean jacket. Some sort of jean jacket is always a great layer. So many different ways to wear it and just add that extra little bit of dimension. Before I jump in and show you these different outfits and walk you through them, you have seen bits and pieces of them. Now I'm going to walk you through each of the five outfits that I put together with these items that I talked about in my outfit formula. Don't forget, have fun with what you're wearing. Make sure you feel like yourself. Do not try to emulate someone else that is not necessarily what you love and what you feel your best in. So this outfit has great Simple layers that really put together a nice outfit, but it is still all of my three words along with the fact that it can work no matter what the temperature is. So I've got on a white crew neck tee, then I have on a cashmere long sleeve sweater. I do also have this in a short sleeve version if I want it. I do have on just a basic pair of jeans. These are my favorite, more slim jean. They are from Gap. They are the Washwell something. I never remember the name. In the tall length, because this is traditionally an ankle length jean. So I get it in the tall one so that I am able to wear it longer in the winter and through the transition seasons. I did put it on with just a basic white sneaker. These ones are from Gucci. Any white sneaker will do. I could wear my 
dunks, I could wear golden goose, I could wear any type of sneaker that's more of a fashion style sneaker. Again, any bag would go. I did tuck the sweater in and put a belt on, my treasure and bond belt, and then, don't mind the pup walking away, guess he didn't like what I had to say. <laughs> and then I have on a long, lightweight trench coat. This is my longer version. I do have a shorter one as well that has a leather trim to it. It is a heavier one though, but this outfit is great for creating layers, for creating an outfit that I can take the coat off that gets warm. I can take the sweater off if I need to. I could also change the shoes to a ballet flat with this and the same outfit would look great. This jacket also is a double-breasted jacket that has a tie. I just simply loop it around the back when I'm not wearing it as a tie. I do like it open, but again, if it gets chilly, I can simply close it over and it gives me a little bit extra warmth to it. This look is another simple but put together look. Graphic tee from Sassy Queen. All of my graphic tees are from them. They are my all time favorite. This one is a size medium. I will say the main difference between the two sizes, I have medium and large. The large is a little bit longer, so I like the large with leggings and things. Then I have on a great cardigan. This one is from Nordstrom. I have a very similar one from Amazon. You know what, I'll show you guys in a second that one because that's an easy quick change. Then I have on these jeans that are from Seven. Do you remember, if you've been around for a while, Seven for All Mankind jeans? I think if I remember the story, they kind of split and created their own brands. So this is seven written out and then the number seven. And this is a pair of jeans. I actually just got another pair in a darker wash of these. These are a great straighter leg. They're not a true straight leg, but they are not a slim jean. These ones actually can also be rolled up to be an ankle length one, kind of like that. When they come in, I have this on with a pair of Nike Dunks. It's just casual, it's cute, it's comfortable. You could add a belt if you prefer. I just simply like taking my t-shirts and I take the edges and I just tuck them into my pockets and kind of roll it over a little bit. Looks tucked in, but it doesn't give as much of an area for issue areas around our stomach. Very comfortable, very easy to wear. If it gets a little bit warmer out, you can take this off. If it gets a little cooler out, you can take a great scarf and just wrap it around and throw it over. It gives you a little bit extra warmth up at the neck and that comfort if it gets a little bit cooler. But again, as I mentioned, if it warms up, you simply take some layers off and you still look put together. Just to show you quickly, same outfit with the Amazon version of a cardigan that is very, very similar. Same look to it. This one is more of a camel color. It does still have the pockets. It is very cozy. And I wanted to show you, I did get in the pair of the darker jeans in the same type. It is a slim, straight, high rise cuffed jean. So it does come in cuffed, but as you can see, you can wear it cuffed when it gets warmer out or you can wear it uncuffed. I just wanted a little bit darker of a pair. It only has a slight distressing in this. These are a great price point. They are, let's see here, $69. I do size down in an eight to these because they have a good amount of stretch to them. Also, I love the length of these jeans because they just lightly go over the edge of a sneaker to kind of create a look of the sneaker not sitting on its own. This look is with a graphic tee. You don't have to wear a graphic tee. You can wear just a plain white tee, any style you like, as we talked about before, whether it's a V-neck, a boat neck, or a crew neck like this one. Again, this is my favorite brand, Sassy Queen Graphic Tees are my all time favorite. They do provide me with a discount code that I will put down below if you're interested. Um, I also have on this blazer. This is the one that I spoke about that has the zip in dicky. So the gray heathered kind of sweatshirt feel is my favorite one. I do have others. I have sweater ones, I have an army green hoodie, and then I have like a leopard print hoodie. I do love all of them, but this blazer is the Veronica Beard Scuba Blazer. It is super, super stretchy. You can toss it in any bag and it is not gonna wrinkle. It's not gonna have issues. It is a single button front, but that is also so that you could simply, if you wanted to, you can zip up the front of this and have it open or closed. I do have this in a size 10. Um, I've had this for so many years. It is a splurge item. However, 
with the versatility of the additional Dickies and the fact that it really is just a classic, great, well-fit blazer all around, great length, not too big, not too small. It has so much versatility. Now I did add the belt back to this because of the fact that I was wearing a t-shirt and tucking it into these jeans. These jeans are AG, I think it's called the Prima, and it is a darker wash with no distressing. This is just what these would look like with that. I do personally, when I wear a structured blazer, go with either a distressed or this. You can go either way you want, but I did wanna show you one of my favorite, again, ankle length version of a darker non-distressed jean with one of these outfits. Now, again, I could use that self-tanner. I threw on my Rothy's. I actually threw on the bright pink pair. I love these. I love in the spring to add a pop of color. I brought in a little bit of the pink from the shirt of this, but you could do just a neutral. Again, that's going back to that concept of wearing what you are most comfortable in. I could have worn that cap toed one, the silver one. I just really like to add a little pop of the color as we get into a nicer area when I'm wearing darker colors. Another option, I will try and see if this is still sold, but this one has been a favorite of mine for years. If you have been following or long, you know you have seen this forever. This is a brand called Blue Revival. I had to look at the uh, label on this. Has a zip out, again, this is a denim jacket inside of this blazer style sweatshirt. This is a sweatshirt. Now, these ones are super cozy. It also came in black and something else. The camo, I just love. Don't be afraid to wear that kind of lighter print or more subdued print with a graphic or a color. I like mixing all of this together. This is my own personal preference. You wear what you're comfortable in, but I don't mind mixing all of these different things. If you were uncomfortable, you could wear a solid tee and still the pop of color in the shoes or you could just simply wear a solid shoe and a plain white tee, black tee, whatever you choose. Now I will also mention, I'll see if they still have them, but Ever Eve is another brand that has a more, not quite a scuba blazer, but more of a blazer style with zip-in hoodies and things like that. So if you are interested in any of these, but the Veronica Beard is just way too out of your price range or you just don't wanna bite the bullet on it, there are other options out there such as this one. I've had this one for so many years and I just absolutely love it. I wear it with this or without, you can choose whatever works for you. I do like the lighter jean with the darker jean in this aspect as well. Next up, if you don't have a layered blazer or one that has the zip-ins or zip-outs, but you like the look of that, this is another option that is something similar. You would start with a larger, more oversized boyfriend blazer. This one is from Amazon. It's fairly lightweight. It's not super heavy. You can roll the sleeves up. It is one size up. For me, I think I went with an extra large. I'll double check that in just a second. But I then put on a thinner weight. This one is a cashmere hoodie sweatshirt. So you've got the hood sticking out in the back there. And then you have a little bit of the sleeve showing out through here, which again gives a little bit of a dimension to the outfit. Now I did change up the jeans to a pair of mother denim. This was my first year purchasing mother denim. They are so worth it. They are so amazing, but they are on the pricier side. So that same pair from Gap that I showed or from Seven, which are on the lower price point, would work perfectly. Now, you don't need all of the jeans that I have. I simply have a large collection of jeans because I'm obsessed with jeans. These ones are a raw hem jean. It is an ankle length jean. As I said, I don't mind starting to show my ankle a little bit now. I definitely could use a little bit of self tanner going on there, especially with the black shoe. I threw on the Chanel ballet flats with a rounded toe. It is that more classic shoe with a classic blazer. Then you have something that's a little bit more casual in with the hoodie sweatshirt, but it is still in cashmere. And then you have just a distressed jean. You don't need the distressing to it. It's just personal preference. You could wear whatever length you want as far as the length of this, but this is a great option. Now I do have a black cashmere hoodie and a blazer, this same one from Amazon in a tan color. So I'm going to flip flop those and show you what that looks like. Taking that same look and just flip-flopping the colors, I did check the size on the blazer. This isn't a size large. So because it runs oversized, you don't have to go up in size. For some reason, I thought I did. I do 
have a white t-shirt on under both of these, the previous one and this one. Again, just in case it gets warmer out, I can take layers off. I can start by taking the blazer off. I can take the sweater off if I want and just still have the whole outfit. I could wear a belt under this so that if it does warm up and I'm just wearing the t-shirt jeans and flats, the belt still ties it in or I could simply take the sweater off and wear all of this with the t-shirt and the blazer. So you have a lot of different options with an outfit like this. Now this hoodie is a cashmere hoodie as well. It's a little bit different. This is a men's version and it's from the brand Quince and it's super cozy and comfy. But again, rolled those sleeves up. You just have a little bit popping through and you have that hood back there keeping with the same ballet flats and the same jeans. This outfit is taking the wide leg pants. I love these. Now, these could probably use to go to the dry cleaner because I've just been throwing them in the laundry and they look a little bit wrinkled. So next time they are definitely going to the dry cleaner. But this is what I'm talking about by a wide leg pant versus a wide leg jean. Works well on me. It hugs in on my larger area, which is my hips, thighs, butt area, and then flows down very nicely. Same as those Vince Camuto pants I have do. And these are a great transition into spring because it's giving you a little bit of color to an outfit, a little fun detail that's a little bit on trend, but it's not to jump out at you. And then pairing it with something basic like a white tee. Now this is that Gap one that I had mentioned to you, the modern crew neck, I think it's called. And then I love to take a jean jacket. This is my favorite jean jacket. It's from Free People. I love to have a long sleeve shirt with this where you can just pop out a little bit of that sleeve there. You could tuck the shirt in, put a belt on, whatever is more comfortable for you. I like to put the collar up a little bit. I like the length of this with a wide leg jean. You could do a short sleeve tee with this. You could do a sweater with this. There's a lot of different ways. If it does get chilly, again, you could throw that scarf on very easily. I do have it on with that pair of Bruno Maglia uh, ballet flats, but again, if it's a cooler day, these jeans look great with any type of chunky fashion sneaker. It's just a great little outfit. It's very, very comfortable. This is like wearing PJs outside. It's crazy, but it looks so put together. And again, as I mentioned, I feel like a little bit of a broken record here, but it looks, it is very comfortable. It looks effortless and it looks chic. It's very, very simple. You could put a crossbody bag with this, a bag in your hand, a tote bag, so many different ways to wear this and just be comfortable yet look put together. As I mentioned, I could use a little bit of self tanner and I was just thinking another possible idea for a video, let me know what you think of this down below, is I could do a video about spring beauty items like self tanner and which ones I prefer that we tend to then transition in from winter to spring as it starts getting nicer. So I hope you enjoyed seeing those five different outfits and how I styled them and how I personally will be wearing them in through the spring. They are simple, they are easy, they are comfortable, they are effortless, they are chic. They also have made packing so easy. When we recently went to Las Vegas, we had taken everything in a carry-on and with having a capsule wardrobe, it has made packing so much easier for me, both the makeup part of that and the clothing part. It was just so much easier. I knew exactly what works on me, what I feel great in, and I felt great the whole time. So if you have any questions about all of the outfits I talked about here or any of the suggestions I had, please let me know. All links are listed down below if you're interested in any of the items you saw. And as always, guys, don't forget, have fun with this, and I hope you have a great weekend.